Fleming College. We have a rock and mineral ID test coming up. We've got uh, 40 rocks and minerals on there. Uh, 21 minerals and 19 rocks. So let's get down to business. Start off with our minerals. Quartz. Quartz has a hardness of 7 and is the hardest mineral in this set. The luster is glassy, non-metallic, uh, but be careful because quartz can be almost any color. It has conchoidal fracture, no cleavage, but is sometimes in crystal form. It has sharp edges and is a common rock forming mineral. Calcite it has a hardness of 3 and can be scratched with a knife. Its luster is vitreous to earthy and non-metallic. It has good cleavage and is rhombic. It can be many different colors and effervesces with a dilute 10% HCl. Plagioclase has a hardness of 6 and a non-metallic luster. It streaks white and has good cleavage at right angles and twinning striations. It's usually light in color, white or gray. Orthoclase. The hardness of 6, its luster is non-metallic, vitreous. It streaks white. It has good cleavage at 90 degrees. Uh, color is most often light to medium red, but can be white, gray, or green. Biotite and muscovite. With a hardness of 2.5 to 3, it's very soft. Its luster is non-metallic. Perfect basal cleavage splits off easily into thin sheets that are elastic or plastic. The color is opaque to translucent. Biotite is always black. Muscovite is brown, light green, or beige. Hornblende. With a hardness of five and a half, it's as hard as a knife. Its luster is vitreous and non-metallic. It has a bright black splintery appearance. Its cleavage, not always easy to see, angles 56 degrees and 124 degrees. The color is black to dark green or brown. Pyroxene. Hardness of five and a half, same hardness as a knife blade. The luster is vitreous to glassy and non-metallic. The color is light to medium, gray or green. It has visible cleavage planes at approximately 90 degrees. Talc. With a hardness of 1, it's very soft and can be scratched with a fingernail. The cleavage is perfect basal. The streak is white. The luster is pearly to greasy, non-metallic, silky appearance, slippery to the touch. The color is pale green, white, yellow, or translucent. Pyrite. Hardness of 6 to 6.5, it's harder than a knife blade. The luster is metallic, it has no cleavage, and is massive. The streak is greenish or brownish black. The color is opaque, pale brass, yellow, sometimes called fool's gold, and is harder than calcopyrite. Calcopyrite. Its hardness is 3.5 to 4, softer than a knife blade. It has no cleavage and is massive. The luster is metallic. The streak is greenish black, softer than pyrite. The color is brassy to greenish yellow. Graphite. With a hardness of 1 to 2, its luster is metallic to dull, the cleavage is perfect basal, the streak is black, and it marks paper, has a greasy appearance and feel, the color is black to steel gray. Hematite. With a hardness of 5.5 to 6.5, 
The luster is mostly non-metallic, found in compact red earthy masses, but can also be metallic, dull silver. The streak is always red. Red powder will come off in your hands. The colors are red, reddish brown, black, or metallic steel gray. Magnetite. With a hardness of six, it can't be scratched with a knife. Its luster is submetallic, dull metal appearance. There is no cleavage and it is massive. The streak is black. It is magnetic and will affect a compass. The color is iron black. Gypsum. With a hardness of two, it scratches easily with a fingernail. Luster is non-metallic, clear crystalline formed called selenite, compact variety called alabaster, most often in massive form. Color, usually white, also gray, reddish, or brown. Serpentine. With a hardness of two and a half to four. Cleavage is not prominent conchoidal fractures. Luster is non-metallic, greasy to waxy. Texture often has greasy or slippery feel and the color is most often green. Barite. The hardness of two and a half to three and a half. The luster is non-metallic, vitreous, often transparent or translucent. Uh, the streak is white. The cleavage is perfect basal and prismatic or could be massive with fractures specific gravity 4.3 to 4.6 occurs in tabular crystals in granular form or in compact masses resembling marble color it's colorless to white yellow brown red green or black chrysotile hardness of two and a half to four the texture it has flexible fibers which are easily separated. The luster is non-metallic and silky. Colors can be green, white, yellow, or brown. Galena. Hardness of 2.5. The luster is metallic. The specific gravity of 7.6. The streak is medium gray and colors are medium to dark gray. The cleavage is parallel to crystal cube faces. Pyrotite. With a hardness of 3.5 to 4.5, the streak is grayish black. It has no cleavage and a specific gravity of 4.6. It may be yellow to bronze in color and tarnishes to iridescent colors. It may be magnetic and the luster is metallic. Sphalerite. With a hardness of 3.5 to 4, the luster can be black, variety, metallic, or other common colors that are non-metallic. It has cleavage with a specific gravity to 3.9 to 4. The streak is brown. Colors can be yellow, brown, red, or black if iron is present. All right, that'll do the minerals. Now let's get into the rocks. I'm going to start off with granite. Its texture is panoritic, medium to coarse grained. The structure is massive. The color is white to gray, mostly pink. The hardness is greater than 5.5. Its composition is made up of quartz, orthoclase, plagioclase, biotite, and hornblende. Basalt. Texture is affinitic, uh, fine-grained. Structure is massive, vascular, amygdaloidal, flow, pillows, ropey, blocky, or columnar. The color is dark gray to black. The hardness is greater than 5 to 6. Its composition consists of plagioclase, pyroxene, olivine, and some horn blend and biotite. Limestone. Texture is calcareous, coarse grained. The structure is characteristically thick bedded to massive 
may contain fossils, particularly in the cement. The color is variable. The hardness is between 3 and 4. The composition, it must consist of 50% or more of calcite. Shale. Uh, texture is fine-grained. Structure is laminated, splits into thin plates. May contain fossils. Colors are light to dark gray. Iron oxides may give brown and red colors, which are dull. The hardness is soft, easily scratched and weathered. May disintegrate in humid climates. Its composition consists of silt and clay-sized particles and clay minerals. Gneiss. The texture is uneven, granular, medium to coarse grained, and crystalline. Structure. Gneissic banding, parallel mineral orientation, alternating light and dark bands. Color is light granular layers and dark foliated bands. The hardness. Granular layers, 6 to 7, foliated layers, 2.5 to 3. Its composition consists of orthioclase, quartz, biotite, hornblende, and it is named for parent rock. Marble. The texture is even and granular, fine to medium grained calcite crystals. Uh, structure is massive. The color is white, but accessory minerals will color the rock. The hardness is three. It is easily scratched and easily eroded. It consists of calcite or dolomite. Rhyolite. Texture as affinitic may be porphyritic, <laughs> medium to coarse grained. The structure is massive. Color is light gray, yellow, and red. The hardness is six to six and a half. The composition consists of quartz. Sanidine, feldspar, biotite, and hornblende. Andesite. Texture is affinitic, maybe porphyritic, fine grained. The structure is massive, color is brown, green, and dark gray. Hardness is 5 to 6, and its composition consists of plagioclase, hornblende, pyroxene, and biotite. Diorite. Texture is phanaritic, uh, coarse grained. Structure is massive. Color is light to dark gray. Hardness is 5.5 to 6. Uh, the composition consists of greater than 10% of quartz uh, with orthioclase, plagioclase, hornblende, and biotite. Gabbro. The texture is phanaritic. It's coarse grained. The structure is massive. The color is dark gray or greenish black. The hardness is greater than five and a half, and the composition consists of plagioclase, pyroxene, hornblende, and olivine. Porphyry. The texture is porphyritic. Uh, it has coarse crystals. It's a light color matrix. The background is fine grained and dark color. Uh, the color varies. The hardness is greater than five and a half, usually picked from the individual mineral. Uh, the composition varies. Nepheline cyanite. Texture is phanaritic and coarse grained. The structure it has poor cleavage, is translucent with greasy to glassy luster. The colors can be white, yellow, gray, green, or even reddish or pink. The hardness is around 5.5 to 6. The composition consists of sodalite, apatite, pyroxene, sphene, and feldspar. Limestone. Texture, calcareous rock, fine-grained. 
composed mainly of the mineral calcite. The structure. Stratification usually indistinct, sometimes fossils present on surface of rock. Uh, the color is variable. The hardness is uh, 3 to 4. Dense varieties break with a conchoidal fracture. It must consist of 50% or more of calcite. Dolomite. Texture is coarse to fine grained. Structure is massive. Color is white, colorless, buff, brown, pink, or gray. Hardness is 3 to 4. Effervesces very slowly in cold hydrochloric acid. Sandstone. Texture. Even granular sand size. Structure is massive, bedded, cross bedding, and ripple marks. Color varies depending on cement, white, tan, brown, red, or green. Hardness varies depending on cementing materials, quartz, grains. The composition consists of quartz grains, if feldspar grains called arcose, silica, carbonates, clay, or iron oxides as cementing agents. Talc schist. Texture is medium to coarse grained, talc feel, and flakiness. Structure. Schistose foliation parallel alignment of flaky minerals make more than 50%. Color is silvery white, gray, yellow to brown, tones from iron oxides. Hardness and ease of splitting depends on micaceous minerals present, uh, usually soft, one to three. The composition consists of uh, the name for foliation producing minerals which are present, uh, micas, muscovite, chlorite, talc, and hornblende. Slate. Texture is dense and fine-grained. Structure is slaty foliation, thinner layers, parallel alignment of mica, flakes, no fossils. Color is usually medium to dark gray or black, green, purple, red, brown, and shiny luster. The hardness is easily scratched with a knife and it is brittle. Its parent rocks are shale or mudstone. Quartzite. Texture is even granular, fine to medium grained sugary. Structure. Massive thick bedded outline of original grains imperceptible. Color is white when pure, light to dark gray, or brownish to pink from accessory minerals. Hardness is 7, tough but brittle, with splintery fractures. The parent rock is quartz-rich sandstones, grains, and cement. Muscovite schist. The texture is medium to coarse grain with a talc-like feel and flakiness. The structure is a schistose foliation parallel alignment of flaky minerals make up 50%. The color is silvery white, gray, yellow with brown tones from iron oxides. Hardness and ease of splitting depend on micaceous minerals present which are soft from 1 to 3. The composition named according to the most conspicuous foliating producing mineral in the rock.